Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to record MIDI from the Phantom directly into Apple Logic Pro X. All right, let's get started. So in a previous video, we demonstrated how to install the drivers that you needed for Logic. And if everything went right, this is going to be a breeze. So what we're going to show today is maybe I don't want to use the sequencer, the onboard sequencer of the Phantom. Maybe I want to use Logic as my sequencer, which is totally fine, and the Phantom allows you to do it seamlessly. All right, so first off, I'm going to set up a scene inside my Phantom that I'm going to use as the basis for the MIDI that I'm going to record in Logic. So I could have chose a scene right away. I could go into Menu, and I can go into Zone Edit, and then if I wanted to, I could go Utility and Zone Initialize. And this will give me a, a blank slate of a zone to work with. Uh, that's one way to do it, and that's probably the official way to do that. The way that I tend to do it is I'll just pick a scene, and I'll go to single tone, and I'll pick a single tone, and I'll just take a look, zone view, and you can see there's nothing in that particular scene. It's all set, and you see the scene right here, it has an asterisk, a yellow asterisk, which means it is uh, initialized, and it hasn't been saved. So... What we're gonna start off first, let's go, we're gonna pick up some sounds, pick some sounds for this particular scene that we can use inside Logic. So I'm gonna start off by picking a zone two. I'm gonna choose a bass and I can hit it again, pops right open. I'm gonna go into my electric bass right here. I already have some marked and some starred. I'll hit that and I'm gonna hit compress and finger bass. Great, that's good. Now I'm gonna go to zone three and we're going to choose an electric piano. This first one will be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and go to zone four. And as you see, I'm just pick, pulling sounds very quickly and that we can use. Uh, let's go right to drums now and do the same thing. So I'm gonna go to uh, zone 10. That's usually where I tend to lean toward is uh, traditionally in MIDI channel 10 or zone 10. I'll pick a drum kit right here. So. Let's go ahead and see if I have any that I tend to like to use. And I like this CR778. So let's go ahead and choose a piano. And I'm going to go right back up. And I have my electric piano here, my bass. Uh, and I think that'll be good. Let Maybe maybe we'll pick a, some kind of synth sound real fast. And we'll just uh, choose something. Maybe like a... We'll choose that. So now that I have that set, I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to go inside menu. I'm going to go down to system and I'm going to cursor down to sound and I'm going to turn off, turn off the, the local switch of my phantom. So this means that my, my buttons over here, uh, I won't be able to change. I'm going to use strictly use logic to decide what sounds I use. So I'm going to turn it off and let's exit and now let's go ahead and take a look at logic and before we do that let's go back to zone view just so you can see so everything's there okay so now i'm in logic and i'm just going to choose an empty project let's go ahead and hit choose all right now we're set to go and i'm going to do an external midi right away i'm going to use external midi and i'm going to choose let's go ahead and choose 16 tracks why not so i'm going to go into my phantom i am going to start off on track one and I'm gonna select 16. I only chose a couple of zones, a couple of mini channels, but this, it gives me some options for later. All right, so now that I'm here, I'm going to, let's go ahead and check out some of these. So channel two, if we remember correctly, and I just chose it, and check out my Phantom. It says it's on mini channel five, I was on zone five. But I am choosing just right here in Logic. Uh, number three, I think I had an electric piano. And there it is right there. And I'll go ahead and choose my drum, but I think I had that on 10. Very quick. And I think on four, I went ahead and put strings. And then on five, I believe I put some kind of lead. So if we wanted to, we could go into here and say, you know what? Let's go ahead and just call this bass. Uh, let's call three uh, an EP. Great. Uh, I think four was a string. Great. And I think five was, we'll just call it a lead. And then number 10, we'll just call this one drums. 
And as you can see now with this particular setup, I can use logic as my sequencer. So I'll go ahead and just change this tempo to 100. I'll go ahead and put a metronome on and I have it uh, so it gives me a count in. So I think I'm pretty much set to go. Let's start off with drums and I'll go ahead and just set a loop right there. All right, let's go ahead. I think I am ready. Got my drums ready and I'll go ahead and press record in, uh, inside Logic to get it going. One more, I get a one measure count in. So here we go. So there it is that quickly, I went ahead and recorded that drum. It's just MIDI, right to the Phantom. And if I wanted to, let's go ahead and add some, let's add a little bit of rim, sh rim shot right there. So let's once again record, two, three, So great. So now I have them both. I have a little bit of off thing, so I could go in and just hit Q for quantize, and it brings it to the nearest quantization, which I believe I have uh, for 16th note right here. So now it should be a little bit better. Let's turn off this metronome. Let's go ahead and add something else maybe some kind of little bit of a 16th note thing. I'll just add this guy right here. All right, great, and let's go ahead and record. Here we go. Uh, I don't think I'll need the metronome. I'll just need the start off. Here we go. Okay, great. Now I have it set. Let's hit Q for quantize. And it tightened everything up for me. Very fast. Okay, now let's go ahead and do something else. Let's go ahead and do the bass. And notice I didn't even touch my phantom to change the sound because I have local control off. And now I'll go ahead and let's drop it down an octave. Uh, on this particular one, uh, we have it set here, so so I got it right there. Let's go ahead and record, and I think I'm ready. Here we go, record. Let's just do something simple. Great. Q to quantize to the 16th note. I think we're set. Now let's go into an EP. Bring it up to the octaves. Let's go ahead and give it a quick uh, try. Let's see what we have. All right, I think we're ready. Let's record. Great, let's quantize it very fast, and now look what we have. So notice how fast we are sequencing in here. We're just going ahead and we're using the Phantom as the sound engine, and via MIDI over USB, we're using Logic to sequence. Very quick and very easy. And let's go ahead and do, just do one more track, and we'll do like uh, that string. Very fast, let's go ahead and record. Great, it's all set. Oops, I didn't want to quantize, that's good. All right, so as you can see, very easy to record. So I have this set in here, Logic. 
If I wanted to now, I could go ahead and say, you know what, let's go ahead and move these tracks over. Let's move them to five. Just all the usual stuff that Logic does and maybe drag out this drums very quickly and got that set. Cool. Uh, maybe I could take this bass and just do a quick, just rearranging of stuff, just very fast. I can say, all right, let's put you there. Let's put you also maybe right there. Let's come into here and put the electric piano right there and right there just kind of mix things up and we can have everybody meet up over here at the end so very nice and very quick and easy so once again i'm just using the phantom as my sound engine uh just to go ahead and have supply those sounds via midi and then just triggering it inside logic and once again all i did was hook up the drivers i chose the phantom to be the uh midi and we're set to go. So let's go ahead and back it up, take a listen. So as you can see, it was very easy to go inside the Phantom and have it routed to Logic so we could record the MIDI directly into Logic and use the Logic as a sequencer rather than the Phantom. So very, very easy. All right, so check this out. Try it out. I hope it helps you out. And come back because now we're going to show, in the next video, we're going to show how to go ahead and turn these into audio using the Phantom once again into Logic. All right, you guys take care and we'll talk to you later.